What's going on everybody? Hope you're having a great day so far. We are continuing our series looking at all the different parts that the edge finder has to offer. And in today's video, we're going back to fundamental analysis and clicking on that. If you go down here, you'll see unemployment today. We're going to be taking a look at the unemployment page in the edge finder. So we'll click on that. And this takes us to the unemployment section where we have unemployment information for the last 30 years. So you can see here that this chart right here goes all the way from 1991 to 2021. And if you're thinking, well, that's a year old, that's because we have the most current uh, unemployment information 2022 right here. Here's a free discord channel every Forex trader should join. You get access to daily trade ideas, market scans and market coverage for what's happening in the Forex world today. See what professional traders are thinking on things like GBP, JPY, gold, and Euro USD. And the best part, it's totally free. Click the link on this video and it will take you to a Telegram chat with one of our team members. Send them the word apply and we'll get you in the free Discord shortly after. Okay, so this is interesting to look at because you can see how unemployment has fluctuated in all of these different countries over the past 30 years, starting in 1991, all the way up to 2021 last year. So we can take a look at those numbers here. We have the Euro area, Canada, Australia, United Kingdom, New Zealand, United States, Switzerland, and Japan listed. We can see all those names right here as well. So if we're looking at current information right here, we can see, let, let's take a look at the US dollar. US dollar right here, uh, our report interval is from July. So that is the most recent uh, information that we have. Our current value sits at 3.5%. The previous value was 3.6 and two periods ago was also 3.6. And for the US dollar, we actually have um, a prediction for the next period and it predicts that it will stay the same at 3.5%. We can take a look at unemployment for all of these different countries and see how it's changed or how it's stayed the same. Um, in some areas like New Zealand, we can see that the previous value was 3.2, but since then it has actually gone up to 3.3. But in other countries like uh, Canada, we can see the previous value was 4.9. The current value is 4.9, but two periods ago, it was actually 5.1. So in the past couple of months, it has actually dropped an unemployment rate. If you want to take a look at one specific uh, country's unemployment, let's take a look at how about Japan. If we click only right here, this gives us only the numbers for Japan. So this is Japan over the last 30 years. I can also click here, JPY, to just kind of highlight uh, the, the yen unemployment. But also down here, similar to uh, the interest rate section, this shows the the red line is the um, average the average out of all of these years and the blue line is where it ended up year to year so we can see that average trend line as well as the blue line where it actually ended up so we can see last year japan finished with a 2.8 percent uh, unemployment rate but on average throughout the year it was actually just a little bit lower than that. That's what that red line is. So click here to bring all those countries back in. Let's look at United States just because. So here we go. Uh, United States unemployment information. Red line is the moving average and the blue line is where it actually ended up. Okay, so that was a look at the unemployment page. I'm going to show you where you can find unemployment error. We can also we can also move this little sliding bar here to update this information. Say you really just wanted to look at like maybe the past, I don't know, three years. So you go to 2018 right there. 2018 to 2021 is what it looks like here. Not quite as much movement. All right. But that of course is not the only place that we can find unemployment information. We can find it in our actual currency pair breakdowns. So if I were to pick one at random, let's do Aussie New Zealand. Click on that and it's gonna take us to the Aussie New Zealand page. 
And here we can see we have an unemployment score of negative one. We have an unemployment score of negative one because the Aussie against the New Zealand, the Aussie has a higher unemployment than the New Zealand dollar. Now, if you're wondering why that's important, it's because a country with a lower unemployment rate theoretically is going to have a better economy. So countries with better economies with lower um, unemployment rate, their currency value tends to trend upwards, right? So Aussie against New Zealand, we have these numbers right here for unemployment. We see New Zealand and Aussie dollar right here. New Zealand sits at 3.3% and Aussie dollar sits at 3.4%. So because Aussie dollar has more unemployment than the New Zealand dollar, they get the score of negative one. The negative one or um, negative one or plus one is just this first currency pair, whether or not they are higher or lower in unemployment. Let's see if we can find a pair with uh, a plus one unemployment. What if we looked at GBP CHF? That one is negative as well. I'll try a couple more really quick. Let's see, Euro CHF, negative as well. Here we go, Swiss franc and Japanese yen. So the franc versus the yen has an unemployment rate of plus one, and that is because the Swiss franc has an unemployment score of 2%, and the yen has unemployment of 2.6%. So because the Swiss franc the first currency pair up here has a lower unemployment score and then the second which happens to be the yen we have a positive score here so this is where you can find unemployment and also why unemployment numbers are important in your trading analysis go back to the unemployment page so you can see it just one more time and i'll slide this back just so that it looks normal there we go so that's a look at unemployment in the edge finder and how to use it, how to find it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time.